So we are currently standing in the Henry Mall area of campus. This is home to our College of Agricultural and Life Sciences. So Henry Mall is originally named after W.A. Henry. He was the college's founder as well as first dean around the 1890s. Um, today, however, we've really expanded this program and this college quite a lot. It now encompasses about 23 undergraduate majors. It's comprised of about 17 different departments, actually making it the third largest college of our eight schools and colleges on our campus. The College of Agriculture and Life Sciences, also known as CALS to most people here at UW, is home to a lot of research on campus. Uh, research really has a long-standing history History here at UW. One that I always like to mention to people is that of Stephen Babcock. So while he is the man that I am thankful for for my ice cream intake every summer here, um, he actually is also the one that established the butterfat milk content test, actually making sure that we are producing consistent dairy products throughout the state. Yeah, another large researcher on campus is Harry Steenbach. He figured out how to enrich foods with vitamin D, um, which really helped eradicate rickets across um, most of the world. Really huge research coming out of specifically our College of Agriculture and Life Sciences. CALS really makes it their goal to do a lot of interdisciplinary research across all different fields. So whether they're doing research on um, the environment, food science, uh, so they actually, CALS has 11 different research facilities across the state of Wisconsin and does a lot of research on over 8,000 acres of land. UW-Madison is consistently among the top 10 research institutions in the nation. Research is not solely for graduate students or professors. Undergrads can get involved in Cal's research as well. So that's just one of the opportunities you can take advantage of, even as a freshman at UW-Madison.